Hey everybody, I'm Brett Kolodny, a developer at Akala, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Kusama or Polkadot address using the Polkadot.js extension. So I'm going to head down here and open up Chrome. And we're going to head over to the polkadot.js.org and click on the extension link. So I'm going to be downloading it for Chrome. If, you're down, if you have Firefox, download it for Firefox. And if you have Brave, you can use the Chrome download as well. So I already have it, so I'm going to head over to this um, puzzle piece in the top right corner, click pin, and now I'm going to open it up. I understand. And now we're going to see this screen. So to add an account for the first time, we're going to want to click the plus sign in the middle of this circle, and we're going to see this 12-word mnemonic seed. The mnemonic seed can be used to recover your account in case you ever lose your device or um, your computer. But it can also be used by anybody to get full access to your account. So we're going to want to write it down and save it in a safe place. And now I'm going to click, I have saved my mnemonic seed safely, and click Next Steps. So now we have this screen. Uh, we, we see this drop down that says Allow Use on Any Chain. If we click it, we'll see a bunch of different chains here. If you're creating a Polkadot address, you'd want to click Polkadot Relay Chain. And you'll see that the address in the top just changed to the Polkadot format. And if you're making a Kusama account, you want to click Kusama Relay Chain. And you'll see that the address changes again to the Kusama format. Today, I'm going to make a Polkadot account. Now, we're going to want to give the account a descriptive name. I'm going to call it my account. Now, we want to give this account a password. The password is what you're going to need to input every single time you want to use this account to make a transaction. So you're going to want to make it something that's secure, but something that you're going to remember. So I'm going to put in a password in right now and click Add this account with the generated seed. So now we see the account in our extension uh, with the Polkadot flag up here telling us that this is a Polkadot account and the Polkadot address. So let's head back over to polkadot.js.org and click the Apps Wallet link. You'll notice that we uh, got this authorized page. This will show up the first time you ever go to a site that's trying to request access to your extension. It gives you information about what the site is, what the um, URL is, and just giving you a fair warning that you should um, only approve applications that you are familiar with and that you understand. It's a good idea to check the URL that it's showing you that the request is from to make sure it's actually the URL that you're expecting. So everything here looks good. So we're going to click Yes, allow this application access. And now we see the Polkadot wallet. So if I head over to Accounts, we'll see that my extension is in the wallet. I can see my balance, and I can send transactions from here. Uh, so that yep, that's it. That's all you need to do to set up a Polkadot account. And now you can use your extension on all the different uh, dApps out there that have Polkadot compatibility. Thanks for watching.